Tara Horn here from Simple Day, and I want to make Monday the best part of your week. I want to walk you through how you can set up a KPI dashboard so that way you can track the mes- metrics for your business. Now, a lot of different kinds of companies can use this. If you're an e-commerce company and you want to track your um, your orders, your revenue, your profit, your, that that's something that you can do here. If you want to just track website visitors, if you have forms on your website, you want to track that. If you want to track ebook downloads, whatever you want to track, you can set up here. Now, the basic setup is this of this board is there's two different groups and the groups are by year. And then you can see that each line item is a different month. Obviously you can set this up in a different way. You could set it up by quarter if you want. You could check this infor- this information on a weekly basis, a daily basis, really however you want. I did set up one automation that whenever an item is created to add the date because I need the date column for the charts that we're gonna use later. So as you can see, we have these two different groups and here the, the stats that I decided to add are all numbers columns. So here I just have website visitors, form submissions, ebook downloads, number of orders, revenue, you um, you can also add a formula column. Let's just say you want to take your revenue minus your refunds for sales and you can add it right here and you can pull that into the dashboards as well. So this is something that you would enter this information manually. There are certain integrations that you could potentially use to automatically pull this information. So it's definitely worthwhile to look into that. But right now this is like a pretty straightforward board where you just add the information manually. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add a dashboard. And as you can see, I have a lot of different metrics here. So the first thing that I have is a numbers widget. And all you would do to add this is you just do add widget, you hit on numbers and it's gonna add a widget. Now I decided I wanted to compare the revenue from 2022 to 2023. So all I do is click on the three dots, go to settings and I just choose the column that I want to track. So that's revenue. I can very easily, if I want to change this to orders or anything else, I can very easily change this. The second type of widget that I have over here is a chart widget. And all you do is you, you click add widget and chart I'll go through that in a minute. And here I'm tracking revenue over time. Um, And this is by month. If I want, I can change it. You can see that here, all that I did was just choose by month. If I want, I can change it to quarter. And easily I have the information by quarter. And here I can choose which columns I want to track. So in this one, I'm choosing revenue. You can see in the other ones, obviously here I'm choosing orders. Here's website traffic. So I can see it over time, Forbes submission, ebook downloads. Now this widget is a goals widget. And again, you hit add add widget and you search for the goals one. And what you can do here, which is really nice, is you can set your goal. So let's say I want my goal, let's say to be, you know, $15,000. So I would set it and then it tells me, it pulls in based on the settings. I pulled it in from the revenue column, how much the number is in comparison to my goal. So obviously you can choose whichever column you want. Now to add these charts, I just want to show you quickly. You just hit add widget. You can hit a chart and it will create a new one for you. You hit on these three dots and settings, and then you can change it. So let's say I want to set the settings, let's say by quarter. This is one of the reasons why it's very important to have date column, as I mentioned before. And then let's say I want to track website visitors by by quarter. I also can add a benchmark line, which is nice. So here I can see, um, let's say my benchmark value will be 4,000 visitors. So this way I can see, oh, here I haven't reached my goals, but here I have. The other thing that you can do is choose groups. So let's say I, I only want to track, tra- track the traffic from 2013. So you see that I can do it here and I don't, and I, because I unclicked this group. So Just to summarize, if you want to track KPIs for your business, this is a super easy way to build a board and then create whatever dashboards for whatever kind of charts you are interested in in using for your business. So really you can be on top of this. You could track hours, you could track revenue, as I showed, number of orders, traffic, bounce rates, really whatever information you're looking to track, you can use monday.com to do that. Please like this video below if you enjoyed it and remember to subscribe below so you can get tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.